A rather common error on my exams is to be confused about what the minimum reflex ratio, R min, and what the minimum number of equilibrium trays, N min, are. R min and N min are two very important characteristics to consider when designing a distillation column. Two extremes. The minimum number of equilibrium trays, N min, is the minimum number of equilibrium trays we need to achieve a certain separation, a certain difference between the composition in the distillate and the composition in the bottom product, Xw and Xd. N min depends on the characteristics of the system curve. You can easily calculate N min graphically regardless of the composition of the feed as long as the feed composition is in between xd and xw, that is. Starting at xd, simply draw triangles between the diagonal and the system curve. The number of triangles you get is the minimum number of equilibrium stages. What Nmin tells you is that you will never be able to carry out the distillation with a distillation column with fewer equilibrium trays than Nmin. Calculating N-min is equivalent to increasing the reflex ratio to infinity, which also means we will need to increase the diameter of the column to infinity. The minimum reflux ratio, R-min, is the lowest possible reflux ratio, R equals L0 divided by D, for which it's theoretically possible to achieve a certain separation. At the minimum reflex ratio, you will need an infinite number of equilibrium trays to carry out the separation. R-min is dependent not only on the characteristics of the system curve and the required composition in the distillate, but also on the composition in the feed and the state of the feed. As we decrease the reflux ratio in design calculations, the required number of equilibrium trays increase. But we can't decrease the reflux ratio infinitely. There is a point at which the required number of equilibrium trays rapidly increases to infinity. This happens when the upper operating line either becomes the tangent to the system curve or when the upper operating line intersects the Q-line where the Q-line intersects the system curve. I sometimes see students trying to calculate the number of equilibrium trays in such graphs, but that is nonsense. If the operating line intersects the system curve or is the tangent to the system curve in a point, you can never pass that point, no matter how many triangles you draw in your diagram. The closer you come to the point, the smaller the triangles get, and there is no end to that rabbit hole. You can continue to zoom in and zoom in and zoom in and draw even smaller triangles for infinity. I do suspect that one reason why some students get confused and try to count the number of triangles in a graph where, for example, the upper operating line is a tangent to the system curve is that I often include simple computer-generated graphical solutions in the suggested solutions to my exams. But the number of equilibrium trays shown in my simple program here is not important. It's just a result of me giving up and saying, hey, this is close enough. The minimum reflux ratio is approximately this value.